So what are our emerging problems? First of all, as I tried to show in my first few slides, we're having ever larger quantities which, of data which require analysis. And the current examination platforms which we use, which are software running basically on PCs, are beginning to struggle. And we need to have a sort of a step change um, in the underlying technology that we use, and basically it isn't available. We're also looking increasingly at how we perform live examinations, uh, in other words, not freezing the scene, and again, how to make that forensically sound. There are lots of things that we can do um, for a quick, rough and ready uh, solution, and provided we don't care whether we're contaminating the evidence as we do so. Um, there has also been some concern that people would be using, um, criminals would be using encryption. Um, I have to say, perhaps the good news is that they seem to be using it far less than most people forecast. has been used in a number of the um, animal liberation trials, incidentally. But we also get, as I said, this large case management issue applies in terrorist cases, applies in some of the fraud cases. Um, the largest one I personally ha had as an individual have been 68, but I'm not a, you know, I'm, I'm essentially a sole, a sole trader. Um, really quite, uh, quite difficult to handle. Um, now on to the policy issues that I want to talk briefly about. Um, forensic computing has largely evolved outside the main tradition of forensic science. Our problem is the speed of change is that the peer-reviewed testing of methods becomes difficult. In other words, we get so many different changes um, that um, it's quite difficult to keep up. And if we say, well, we should only go for properly tested, peer-reviewed uh, uh, methods, our problem is is um, uh, how do we handle that before a jury? How are we going to be satisfied? And there's no easy answer to that. Um, forensic computing, in effect, has to track all the changes and was within the technology and also the social structures. So um, we have a real problem in terms of making it uh, robust. 